I am happy that I was involved in a successful in the Mara Triangle and now it will be easy to also replicate the same on this other side. But uh, it has taken, it takes time. It's about the benefits which I want as governor and the county government wants to get to go to the communities living around the game reserve. Because the Maasai Mara game reserve can only be sustainable for future generations if the communities around are comfortable, are enjoying the benefits and are seeing the game reserve as something which benefits them directly. We want to tell the world, you are here to see the Mara uh, the way we had planned to be. It is going to be a spectacular game reserve that it is supposed to be. It is going to be very, very well managed. We are going to have control of game tribes. One of the areas which we have received criticism before is, is the crossing uh, in the Mara River and especially congestion where we find so many vehicles. So those are some of the things we are, these are, the things we are looking at. Revenue collection, community benefits, management of the game reserve and the security. And that way the Mara will be positioned as the best game reserve not only in Africa but in the world. And we are going to restore the glory of the Mara. I'm also very, very excited that uh, the long-term dream of my very, very, very good friend, Steve Fitzgerald, uh, is coming to realization that our dream to have this great site out of Africa has been shot here, a location which we think that with the likes of Steve being involved, we are going to have uh, the best lodge com company in, the, in, in this area of the game, re of the game reserve. However, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited that today we are back. We are having him as, a, as an investor in this great location. And, and I believe that uh, these, uh, the plans you have for this area, I've seen the plans, the, the camp he wants to build, the lodge camp, uh, which is going to put here, uh, going by the plans which I've seen, is going to, to be a pride, not only for us as the landlord, and this area of Mara Triangle and Mara and the Mara, but is going to elevate the status of uh, uh, tourism in, in Kenya. I think Sam's so relieved because I've been nagging him for all of those 15 or 20 years for the site from the time we met uh, first at, at Fitchwa. And, and after a short time, Samuel brought me up to the site. I was saying, but that's, that's a fantastic site. That's a fantastic site. So for me, the first thing was that having built, I don't know many, 60 lodges across Africa and India and being uh, consulting in Latin America on a lot of developments there, this was always for me the best lodge site I'd ever seen anywhere in the world. So I think we have a very consultative uh, approach to management and I found across Africa, but, but again particularly in Kenya, that that's a very, very fertile uh, place to invest effort in is, is in the human capital of, of Kenya. The home of safari, this is the most beautiful reserve that you know, I've ever seen, there's a, there's a wildness to it, but there's also a gentleness to the Mara that you don't get in some of the other countries. Finding a new name for this beautiful property, Angama, was a bit of a challenge because all the most beautiful names in Swahili and Ma have been taken. And we looked and searched and asked and wondered about how we could make the most of this incredible location and find something that hadn't been used before, something that could be pronounced and, and remembered by all our guests and certainly had a sense of place. And Angama in Swahili means suspended in midair. And when you're here, right on the edge of the Rift Valley, with these incredible views, with a 300 metre drop to the Mara below, you really do feel like you're hanging on the edge of the world. The other thing you'll experience when you're staying here with these beautiful views, the hot air balloons will fly past your feet as you wake up in the morning and all through the day the birds of prey will soar just at eye level or even below you. And that was the inspiration behind our beautiful name. The first thing anybody asks me about Angama is what makes it special. 
and undoubtedly it's this wonderful sense of place. Here in Kenya, in the Masai Mara, high up above the Masai Mara, the Rift Valley, it's just a, a remarkable place. And yes, of course, there's this very romantic backstory of, of out of Africa where the movie was, was filmed right here. But it's more than that. It is really a quiet place. It's a place where guests will come, sleep in beautiful tents, all that is hang off the edge of the Rift Valley, and a place where they can just be. And there's a wonderful quote from Karen Blixen's um, Out of Africa, where she says, here I am where I ought to be. And I think that's probably the essence of, of what our guests would experience when they're here. I don't think they'll actually want to go on a game drive at all. I think they'll just want to stay up here, looking down over the Mara, um, being taken care of by remarkable staff. Kenyans have a way of looking after guests almost like no other. The views are lovely, the food will be delicious. We're going to keep it quite simple, very generous, very yummy, but nothing about Angama is pretentious. Not the way we take care of our guests, not the way we're going to style the lodge, um, the food. It's all just as it should be. We're going to try and be flexible. Guests are not going to be told when to go on game drive and when to be back. And, sort of sausage factory them through their day. They will pick and choose their way. They'll go out in the morning, come back for breakfast, go out the whole day, take a picnic with them, maybe even take two picnics, lunch and breakfast, and just get through the day at their own pace. And really, I think, be left alone and not over-organized. They're coming here to escape the world and on another level to reconnect with the world, as we say, as it really ought to be. I'd also like to borrow another line from Karen Blixen's beautiful book, Out of Africa where she says to Finn Chapman, I'm better at hello than goodbyes. And I think that's how we would like to treat our guests. We'll be so much better at saying hello than saying goodbye, because we really will be sad when they leave, and hopefully they'll all be back soon. <laughs>